So is anyone else obsessed over jelly beans? Seriously, I love the orange, yellow, and red ones. And I got a bag of Brock's jelly beans around Easter time, which was like a couple of days ago. And there only seem to be very, very few of my favorite colors, unless someone in my house has already picked them out. But let's get real, I'm always digging through it first to find the colors that I like so I don't get the crap colors. So I found a couple, I already ate one while I was waiting for my computer to turn on. Um, and yes, this is a very, very precious little nugget. What's up guys, it's Angela. And if you hear super loud panting in the background, I did not just finish a marathon. It is my two dogs. And pretty soon they will start to snore so, yeah, if the computer starts to shake, it is my computer. Don't adjust your phones or anything like that. Don't worry, it's just my computer. Today, I am here to bring to you another Top 5 Wednesday video, and this week's topic is Top 5 Least Favorite Books in Your Favorite Series. Before you watch this video, put down your haterade, just put it down, set it far, far, far out of your reach because I don't want any of that goop on my screen, okay? Okay. That being said, all of the books I'm going to mention, I did not hate them in any way, shape, or form. Most of them are at least 3.5. Some of them are four-star reads for me. They're just the least favorite book in the series. Jumping right into it, I am going with number five. It is going to be a contemporary, and that is going to be Better When He's Bold by, oh crap. It's not by Jay Crownover. Yes, it is. Jay Crownover. Bam. Remember that. There goes my clock, in case you can't hear it. I had to wait because the hoodie clock is in the kitchen where I am, and yeah. Right when I hit record, it started going. Anyway, Better When He's Bold is the second book in the Welcome to the Point series, and Better When He's Bad was just amazing. It blew me out of the water, so it's no doubt that I would have to choose Better When He's Bold because reading the second book in a series always kind of puts me in a little bit of a funk. I'm just like, uh, okay, are they going to survive the series? You know what I mean? Like, is a writer going to remain as strong as they were in book one, or is it going to go downhill? And the second book I always feel is the slowest book for me in a series. So that being said, we're going to be moving into number four, which is also the second book in a series, and it would be Jet, also by Jay Crownover. This is from the Marked Men series, which I adore. I was just not so crazy about Jet for a few different reasons. Number one being that I wasn't so crazy about Aiden at first. She grew on me. But then they introduced Asa, and I was just like, mm, I'm not sure where this is going. I'm not sure if we're supposed to like him. And the last reason is because I knew that Rome's book would be book three, and I just really wanted to get to book three. And speaking of book three, we have the third book in a series. You guys are going to hate me after I show you. And I debated picking a different book, but I thought, no, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to own it. And that book would be, I'm afraid. I'm really afraid to show you guys. Like, I kind of don't want to now. Oh, what the hell. It's Crest by Marissa Meyer. I know a lot of people say they did not like Scarlet. That's their least favorite. For me, it was Crest. I just wanted everybody to freaking be together already. I liked the camaraderie of the books, and I just wanted to see more of that, and I felt like in Crest we didn't get as much of that. Also, I'm not going to lie, I was not the biggest fan of Crest. I liked her. I just did not adore her. Does that make sense? I adore Thor. He is my favorite character in the Lunar Chronicles by far, and I just thought Crest was just so shy and timid, and I was like, what is she doing with Thorn? But as the book went on, I really did enjoy it. I, like I said, I still rated this a four stars. I did not hate it in any way, and reading Winter, I really started to appreciate Cress even more, so don't hate me. Don't hate me. This is really weird, but coming in at number two is the second book in a series, and that would be Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin. In all fairness, I have only read Game of Thrones as well as Clash of Kings, and I've started Storm of Swords. However, 
second book syndrome hits majorly in this one. I was like, mm, how can you follow up Game of Thrones? It's really hard. I still did enjoy this book, and I'm really proud of myself that I managed to stick it out and read it. And I have heard that people do not like, hold on, it's book four, Storm of, Game of Thrones, Clash of Kings, Storm of Swords, Feast for Crows, Feast for Crows, and uh, Dance with Dragons. I think it's just Feast for Crows, book four. I've heard a lot of people that do not like book four, but when I get there, I'm reading book four and five together because they're set along the same timeline. So if you've heard that and you're interested in reading the series, maybe we can read books four and five together or book three if you're where I am because I'm ready to get into book three. But yeah, I still really love the series and I cannot wait for the freaking TV show to come back on. I am so excited. The trailer got me so pumped and I need to know what happens to Jon Snow. Even though I already know, like, I just need it confirmed, okay? Confirmed. Because Lord knows we are not getting the sixth Game of Thrones book for another four years. I believe I've already mentioned, on, mentioned it on this channel. But do you guys realize how crazy it is that Game of Thrones was published in 1996? I was six years old. Some of you that are watching this may not have even been born. I was six years old. I'm 26 now. And he's done five books. Granted, they're epic, but come on, dude. The TV show has passed the books. So we're going to get spoilers in the new season. Thank you, George, for being a slow-ass writer. And my least favorite book and probably my most favorite series would be Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Can anyone actually say they love this book? Seriously, show of hands, anyone, anyone? Oh, not I, that's who. I did not like this book. I mean, it's Harry's story, so it's still really good. But man, you put a giant ass spider in any book and I'm like, no, 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 moving on, moving on. That would be like, putting a clown in a book to me because I freaking hate clowns and no I have not read it and no I will not be reading it ever period end of story this book though in the whole seven book series that we have it just I don't know what it was about this book I just did not like it I think it's the second book syndrome again you guys I really do because in book one we're getting introduced to Harry and it's so exciting and new so how can the second book really live up to that I want to know you you I want to know your thoughts on this second book syndrome do you guys think it exists because the more I talk about books in this video the more I'm really starting to think it does the first book we're all excited getting to know these new characters and then the second book is like meh and then the third one everything goes back to normal again, you know? I don't know. It's just crazy. Um, but yes, I was not a huge fan of it for the spider reason. I think, I think that's the only real reason that I can pinpoint off the top of my head, other than the second book syndrome. Oh my god, I itch so bad. Okay, there we go. There we go. Pollen is in the air. It's floating around. Do you guys know that my dog was itching really bad? The vet said he didn't have allergies. It was just something on his skin that was causing him to itch. Okay. They gave my dog prednisone. <laughs> I mean, he's back to his old self. He's as happy as a little clam. But freaking prednisone, man. Like, it's crazy. Anyway. Really quickly, I want to know if you guys liked this book. If you had to rate the Harry Potter series in order from most favorite to least favorite, where would Chamber of Secrets be on your list? In one of my most favorite spots would probably be number three, Prisoner of Azkaban, because, let's get real, I love Sirius Black. I mean, who doesn't? And Gary Oldman, and Gary Oldman is real super sexy to me, so yeah, movie version Sirius was not so bad either. Thus concludes my top five Wednesday video. If you guys have made a top five Wednesday video, feel free to link it down in the comments below so I can go check it out. Or if you just want to answer the question, which is your top five least favorite books in your favorite series, feel free to let me know down in the comments below, of course. And I want to know really badly where Chamber of Secrets ranks on your list of Harry Potter books. 
because I know I'm not alone. I just need validation. Okay? Okay. That's all I'm asking for. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you next time. Bye.